Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Wall Plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson. And today I wanted to just discuss a little bit about auto dimensioning and a new feature that I've added to that recently. So as many of you know, um, this is of course after January 1st, um, we've moved the um, <clears throat> some tools out of the wall plugin and into what's called the Medique Project Plugin. And here is actually the Medique Project Plugin toolbar. And I'm going to get into uh, special tutorial videos just for this plugin, of course. But I uh, just wanted to let you guys know uh, the grid tool that I commonly use, which is uh, free actually with SketchUp uh, in the in the extension warehouse. Um, I've developed my own uh, kind of uh, draw grid tool, I guess. And the, the only reason why I say this is because I've, I've basically taken the, uh, the free grid tool and augmented it a little bit. And as you can tell, I've got like these major grid lines uh, and with combined with the minor grid lines, it just makes it visually a little easier to, um, you know, kind of figure out where all your dimensions are. So let's just get started. First of all, let's lay up some walls here and get started. So I'm just going to throw down uh, some basic walls, exterior walls, primarily just to um, have something to work with. So let's just go ahead and make this kind of L shape theoretical house layout okay so you know there we go we got uh, some walls let's throw a few doors in it and windows um, just to have something to work with again um, <clears throat> and let's just put one there okay so you know you could go ahead and put all kinds of stuff in there but first of all I just wanted to show you that um, you know with the with the grid line tool uh, it's kind of nice because now I on this uh, default four foot grid you know you can quickly see you know where you how big your uh, your walls are so with uh, the auto dimension tool we had previously created uh, the framing uh, dimensions tool or uh, well we enabled framing dimensions for auto dimensions and what that does is it gives you elevation dimensions for each wall panel so we're going to go ahead and just turn that one on first to demonstrate it and just leave the default settings what they are Hit save settings, close that out. So, uh, you know, I could have turned this on first and then drawn my wall panels, or it doesn't really matter. Or right now, I'm just going to go ahead and take this wall panel and regen it. And so now it's going to show you these dimensions. And, uh, you know, you can do this for all your uh, all of your wall panels that you need. And yeah, I could do that for all of them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you now. So, you know, this by itself is not all that interesting, I guess, or useful, in my opinion. But with the, what used to be in the wall plugin, of course, is this uh, scene generator uh, under the Medique Documents toolbar. Of course, now this is actually in the Projects plugin now. Um, we've moved it there. But basically what you can do is you can click um, the scenes icon here. And we're going to select all these walls. And it will go ahead and create framing elevations um, for you. Okay. And ignore this uh, create floor plan uh, icon. This this one <clears throat> still doesn't really do anything to speak of, but um, just go ahead and create those scenes. And you're going to notice that um, you're going to get every single wall that you selected, and it will have a separate scene, basically a straight on view of it. And so, you know, typically with something like this, if you're going to show like a framing elevation plan, you're going to want to you know, toggle uh, all of your um, your layers that you don't want to show so you know that's usually what you would do so for instance um, in this case I'd probably turn off the wall cladding I turn off the wall sheathing and um, and a few of these other layers you know the insulation we don't need that shown either um, yeah let's just go ahead and you know, there's, there's still a lot of layers here of course but we just have to find them all the ones we don't want and turn those off uh, and granted, you could do this, of course, in the main model first before you um, go ahead and create these scenes. Probably be a little easier, but either way, um, you'll get your uh, what what I, I I typically call a uh, a framing elevation. <clears throat> so I'm just trying to get everything here. Okay, we need to turn the windows off, I guess. Yep, and the door hardware. And the casing, wall casing, there we go. Okay, so now we've reduced it down, and I think maybe the gypsum as well. 
we've reduced it down to just the framing, right? And so now you can take this into um, <clears throat> layout um, the scene, and you have now a framing elevation view with with, and it's all pretty much auto dimension. Granted, I mean you can add more dimensions in this scene if you want, or put notes or anything else. But um, yeah, it's kind of nice. You you have these um, these scenes automatically generated for you, and. Um, of course, uh, you need to make sure you save that scene before you move on. Um, but you understand I, <laughs> I, what, what I'm getting at here. So anyways, that, that essentially is what the elevation uh, auto dimensioning tool does. Um, it gives you basically you're within SketchUp itself. It's throwing these dimensions in and then you can bring those scenes into layout. Um, some people like to dimension in layout um, versus dimensioning in SketchUp. But... The problem with that, I mean, it's not really a problem, but the issue with that is if you want to have automated dimensioning, um, there is no real-time API in layout that I can program. So this is really the only option you have for auto dimensioning. Okay, so let's go ahead now and show you, um, we could leave the framing dimensions on, but I'm just gonna turn them off, otherwise it's gonna get a little cluttered. And I'm gonna turn on the plan dimensions, okay? So in this particular case, um, now I don't the the auto dimension plan scene uh, tool it doesn't really exist yet, um, but I do at least have uh, what what I <clears throat> call um, auto dimension of the uh, a plan view. So what you do now is let's hit the region tool on this. So now you can see um, I've turned off of course the elevation dimensions. If I regen these walls, and I'll regen a bunch of them here just so you can really see what's going on. Um, so it basically sticks all of the dimensions on the exterior of the wall. And, and it, you know, if you have interior walls, um, there still is technically an exterior and an interior of that wall. So it'll put it on the exterior in all cases. Now let's turn off this grid for a second. Let's just hide it. <clears throat> so basically what you've got is <clears throat> you've got... Um, dimensioning uh, for a plan view, right? So what we want, maybe want to do is we want to, we could create another scene for instance, but I'll just show you here uh, from top down and we'll change this camera to parallel projection. And say, and see now what we've got is a nice breakdown of, uh, you know, all the plan dimensions, what's going on there. So you got your window and your door and your overall wall length. So one thing, of course, it's not giving you <clears throat> maybe is, you know, like let's say you want a full dimension of the building from this point to this point, you know. So, you know, you'd have to add those dimensions in. But at least you're getting a, it's auto-generating uh, dimensions in the plan view for each wall panel. So, uh, you know, I don't know how useful, you know, some of these auto-dimensioning features are, but I think at, at the very least it gives you... Um, some basic tools that, that, you know, for, I don't know, kind of a quick and dirty, you can get things done or at least get you started down the right path. And then, you know, if you need to add, you can always, that's the beauty of SketchUp. You can always add in more note, <clears throat> annotations or more, you know, little um, whatever, whatever things you need to add in notes, etc., into your, into your models and, and drawings. So anyways, I think in a nutshell, that pretty much sums up everything I want to say about, um, Oh, sorry, that's not the right plugin. Everything I want to say about these two uh, d auto dimensioning features. Um, this here, dimension offset, <clears throat> is controls the offset um, from the, uh, well, it gives you a little blurb there to explain it. But basically, you've got the 12 inches I have it set as a default, and then 16 inches. And you can set these at whatever you like, and they independently control the plan. This one controls plan dimensions, and this one controls the um, elevation and framing dimensions. All right, well, thank you so much. And if you have any questions about this uh, feature, please uh, feel free to give me a call or send me an email. I'm always here uh, uh, looking forward to your feedback. Thank you.